Honyat, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sean Clan Shadow Productions. So this one's gonna be really fun because I'm gonna be taking you on my trip to Utah. I went out there to go meet up with a group of paranormal investigators who are very influential and very well known in the paranormal community. Um, I cannot say exactly who or what or where exactly we went to, uh, but I could take you on my trip where uh, some of the sacred sites I went to to go give offering and prayers and uh, some of the photography that I uh, happened to take out there. So hope you guys enjoy this episode. Here's some of the beginning drone clips of my trip to Twin Rocks, Utah. Yeah. So last year I swapped out my truck I had for an EV vehicle and this is one of my very first, I would have to say, longer trips I've ever taken with an EV vehicle. Uh, and I have to say it added about like an hour or two hours to my entire trip uh, just because of charging and everything. So I was planning on trying to get out there to Utah from Arizona uh in about like nine hours but it ended up taking me like 12 or 13. um so i got out there like at two o'clock in the morning and i gotta say driving through the mountains in utah is pretty sketch it reminds me of the res a lot because there's a lot of wildlife out there so those those deer and those coyotes and everything out there kept me awake during my whole trip um but it was honestly very much worth it to be able to go out there and uh, go to a town that i've never been to and to be able to interact with spiritual beings over there that I physically have never been to. Um, I've only heard stories about it. So what made this trip pretty interesting was when I went out there to go investigate with this group, whenever you go to investigate a location or literally anything, you have to do your research. You have to know what spirits are around. You kind of have to know the story of the land when you go there. And so during my research, I've come to find out that there's a lot of Ute and Paiute as well as a couple other tribes in that area that used to inhabit it. Now, for those of you that don't know out there, the Utes and the Navajos, I'm, I'm Diné. So the Ute and the Diné used to kind of go at it against each other back in the day. It's where they kind of used to, you know, fight each other over resources and land. So with that, you know, it's it was very interesting to be able to go out there and try to communicate with some of those spirits in the, in that uh, location. So it was honestly a lot of fun. I can't go too much into it about what we captured or what we seen, but it was very, very interesting. Whenever you go out to locations like this, I always like to try to go to national monuments or any sacred sites that are nearby. Um, typically, if you're a tourist, if you're going around to these locations and everything, always try to give acknowledgement to the land, give acknowledgement to the spirits that are there and the tribes that are there as well. Because a lot of times those spirits are still there. Those teachings and those ceremonies that happen and partake in, in those locations are still there. So going over there, especially, you know, with the, uh, the tensions we had with the Ute tribe at the time, I wanted to go in there with respect and, you know, make communication with those spirits and give them offering to let them know my intentions and why I'm there. And, you know, just pray for their good well-being and health. So that's something that I always recommend to anybody out there. If you're traveling out there to any sacred sites or anything or any national monuments, always give tobacco offering to the spirits. A lot of times those spirits are still around. Those guardians are still around trying to protect a lot of the ceremonies that were done in the past. So 
sometimes if you go into a sacred site and everything, sometimes you'll feel, you know, it's a beautiful area and everything, but you'll feel drained, you'll feel sick, you'll start to get headaches and everything. So sometimes you go into those places, there could be a spiritual ceremony that's happening right there. Or, you know, there could just be some spirits that don't want you there. And so that's one thing you always got to try to do is when you go to these locations and these places, you always got to try to give something in return, give something back to them. And when I say tobacco offering, you know, you can go ahead and get like one cigarette or, you know, get some loose tobacco like Top or Bugler, you know, get some of that tobacco that's in there and give offering to them in you how you word that prayer and how you do that has to come from your heart. Um, it doesn't have to be in the native language. It can be in your own language, but just giving, you know, letting them know your intentions of why you're there uh, to witness the beauty of the location, to give offering to those spirits, to, you know, just have fun, but be respectful at the same time. You know, don't leave trash. Don't leave, you know, don't walk off the trails unless you know where you're going or have permission to go to those places, you know. Try to respect the land, respect the air, and respect all of it on all four sacred directions at these locations. And in return, you know, the spirits will bless you. The spirits will make sure you make it home safe from your trip. Um, so that's pretty much all I have to say about that. While I was out there, I actually took some photos. So we're going to go ahead and look at some of those photos I actually took. So this one right here, I've always kind of seen like a lot of photos out there of vehicles, uh, vehicle photos being taken. Uh, out in the red rocks and everything and I was just I really wanted to try that out so with this one it was really cool to be able to get the contrasting colors of and highlight the reds of the sands and the rocks and um, to be able to kind of complement you know the background as well as highlight the vehicle in front as well um, so this is my 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 pony that I took out there and uh, <laughs> poor thing was probably really tired to get out there and everything um, so this next photo is uh, the Twin Rocks photo. So this one right here, I didn't see the sign when I was there. I would have to, I had to have been there for about 30 minutes or so, um, getting that drone footage and everything. And then I started walking up to the Twin Rocks and then I saw that sign right there. I was like, oh, cool. Let me take a photo just to, you know, let everybody know where I was at and everything. So I ended up walking all the way up there to be able to give my offerings um, to the Twin Rocks and everything. And I'm sure they had their own stories up there as well. So when I was up there looking at the Twin Rocks, one of the rocks that was up there, it's very interesting to see how much the winds and the rains have shaped this rock how it looks like a ball on top, but then like it narrows down at the bottom. And it's, it's pretty interesting to be able to see that and to be able to, you know, for it to still be standing. And I hope it stands for a long, a lot longer time too as well. So. How you A everybody. So I'm up here um, by, I think that sign said Twin Rocks. So I'm over here in Utah. There's a bunch of land that way up here giving offering to the spirits so it's so one thing you're tourists you're traveling you go to like these old places like this be sure to give tobacco offering and thank the spirits and the tribes that were there you'll have a good trip and you'll feel better when you're done too so yeah i'm just out here just trying to get some drone shots of all this and you guys will probably be able to see that here pretty soon too i have an agreement that i can't talk about what's going on right now but it's big uh, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Hopefully in a couple of months you guys will be able to see what's going on But I'm excited for it and thank you guys so much for watching and you guys take care We're going at the next morning. I made my way try to go back to Arizona and I ran into a golden eagle So when it comes to golden eagles eagles hawks, uh, they are very very sacred animals uh, to indigenous peoples um, a lot of times we use their feathers uh, from a fallen eagle or sometimes they drop to pluck their feathers out. We use those uh, for ceremonies and dances and everything. So um, they're very, very sacred to us. So I had to, it, I was driving down the highway and it was sitting on one of those electrical posts. And I just remember driving. I was like, dang, this bird's huge. I thought it was a vulture at first. Then I drove by and then I saw the brown and white feathers on it. I was like, okay, I got to turn around. I got to get some footage of this. So when I turned around and I started making my way back towards it, I pulled off to the side of the road. I got out 
and I was gonna give it some tobacco offering. And as I did, it, it went off the electrical post and went out into the road and it, it covered, you know, its wingspan covered most of the road. And that right there was just like, geez, this bird is huge. You know, this eagle is huge. So uh, I gave my tobacco offering. I got back in my car. I drove up close to it with my phone. I recorded it. It took off again. And then I made my U-turn clockwise again. And then I made my way uh, back to continue my journey. So there's not a lot of, uh, there's some eagles in Arizona, but more so as you start going north um, in the United States, that's when you start to see a lot more of the eagles because there's more uh, game. It's a lot cooler up there. Um, so yeah. Uh, that was very, very awesome and beautiful to get those blessings, especially after a night of adventure like that, um, to be able to go and do this. As I was continuing my trip, it was honestly very cool to just see the different landscape of it, of Utah, because it's very, very high elevation up there at the locations I was at. And just to see the mountains and the small towns and everything, um, even got to see this little cat right here. So... I ended up making my way to Page and I um, was able to participate in an event called the Balloon Regatta in Page, Arizona. Once every year, uh, there's a lot of hot air balloons that end up, it's kind of like a car show, but for hot air balloons, if I could explain it. Um, so they line up the hot air balloons all in one street and they pretty much, they don't fly anywhere where I believe during the day or the day before, you know, they let up the air balloons into the sky. They give out some free rides and everything. And while we were there, uh, I was able to take some of these photos and I have to say this one right here was the coolest photo I've ever taken. I love this photo because it was an intentional photo that I tried to take it like it was one of those photos where it's dealing with night photography and again dealing with the limited light sources that you have you know you have to set your camera settings just right to be able to capture the moments and while we were there I remember we were walking around and they you cannot let the fires and the flames inside of the hot air balloon consistent consistently go because then the hot air balloon will end up start flying away so they had to kind of let them out in spurts and you never knew when they were going to do that so i remember we were walking and then whenever the balloon would light up i'd be like oh my god and hurry up and try to take a photo and everything so in this photo we posted up and i was just holding my camera down one way and I was just waiting for that perfect moment for somebody to light up and illuminate one of the hot air balloons that was there. So this right here, by far one of my favorite photos that I've ever taken in my career. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. So, and then here are some of the other photos that I took during the event. There was so many different types of patterns, so many different types of designs in the balloons. There's some sponsored ones in there as well, which was uh, kind of cool. Um, so they took everything down after a certain amount of time. Uh, it was pretty amazing how fast those hot air balloons actually were being able to be taken apart and everything. So, but yeah, that's pretty much my trip that I had over to Utah to go to for uh, a filming with a very uh, well-known group out there in the paranormal community. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. That's going to be a lot of fun for everybody to be able to see that. I'm excited for it. Hopefully in a couple months it'll air on TV. Um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching you know i'm gonna be having some more episodes come out i'll be having some more teachings 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 episodes come out as well so uh coming out very soon um and like i said too i'm gonna try to post twice a week if i can um if my work permits you know we'll see what what happens with that um but again, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my social medias, official Sean Clen SSP on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. Many blessings to all of you. I'm going ahead.
Is that everything? I'm trying to remember my trip that happened last week and I don't remember everything. I saw a cat over there. Here's a photo of that cat. Very majestic. So I recently took a trip to Utah, Utah, California. No. <laughs> Oh, and y'all, hey, everybody, yeah, I would have to say not really right next to, but come on, man.